I heard Mr. Turkey say, Gobble, 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 gobble. Soon twill be Thanksgiving Day. Gobble, 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 gobble. People say it is such fun, but I think that I should run and hide until the day is done. Then gobble, 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 gobble the entrails of all the humans who slaughtered my kind. And this concludes another chapter of The Progress of Pilgrims, The Unauthorized History of Thanksgiving. Welcome C to another Purblind Gamer stream. Gobble. <laughs> Gobble indeed. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you are having a good week. Or if you're in America, effectively a weekend now. And you all should go check out Seacross, who's an awesome retro and variety streamer. Uh, does even more variety of hardware stuff than I do. <laughs> And his streams are always fun. I saw you were uh, playing a hidden object game in Seacross today. Uh, weird choice. Don't know why anybody would do that. No offense, but someone who would play a hidden object game on stream is... Uh... Oh, shoot. What was I doing tonight? Anyway. <laughs> yes. I know it's uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, Holiday week C underscore and underscore holiday cross. thing starting today. L -L. But I went, they called me into work for a half day. And by a half day, I mean I didn't get out of there until after 8.45, and then it takes almost an hour to get home. So, yeah. Don't know what happened between then and now. Probably ate dinner or something. <laughs> but... That's why we're playing a, a game that's not quite so obscure as I might have hoped. Then, and I appreciate everybody who hung out over the weekend. We played uh, Splatterhouse 3D for Doom and Half Life, both of which we'll continue C this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, respectively. No objects. <laughs> No hidden objects, unless a game with a title like James Patterson's Women's Murder Club Twice in a Blue Moon is a hidden object game. And considering the fact that I played James Patterson's Women's Murder Club Little Black Lies early in my streaming career, and it was a hidden object game, I'd say there's a reasonable chance we're going to be finding some objects. <laughs> Though... This one doesn't have full motion video cutscenes, or indeed animated cutscenes at all, I would believe. <laughs> eh. I had this game, because I got it from the game.giveawayoftheday.com, which occasionally has good games, not as much as they used to, and was keeping it around on my hard drive as a reserve in case I, you know, I needed something to stream at some point. I was like, why would I? I've got plenty of other games I want to stream. Yes, well, we'll get to those eventually, even if it takes a hundred years. Yeah. I'm sure all of you American people, if you're still awake, are looking forward to overeating and seeing family. Or at least one of the two. Yeah. I was thinking of trying to play the adventure game Pilgrim, which I have on CD-ROM here. Uh, found a cheap copy. Just because, you know, Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. Tangentially related in name only. Hey, better than some horror movie sequels. But I hadn't time to get it installed and running correctly, so. Little Black uh, er, Twice in a Blue Moon it is. Which uh, is a murder mystery. And I don't know that much about it. Other than that the Women's, Women's Murder Club will hopefully solve it. And tonight probably won't be a super long stream. I have to at least make pretensions of being sensible or some such. Oh. Oh, we're doing that. Hold on. C underscore underscore cross is in a bit of a snitch today. I watched today. a horror movie today called it, Black Friday. 
It did do Black Friday. To just freaking change my resolution. <laughs> no kidding, you watch Black Friday with uh, Karloff and Lugosi, right? Hey, that's a good one. Hold on, let me... God. I swear, sometimes it seems if you don't... See underscore underscore cross. It was entertaining. Keep a conscientious eye on everything. One of the programs will betray you when you least expect it. Or most expect it, because that's, you know, usually when you're starting a stream. It was entertaining. I remember I remember that as being a fun one. It's you know, the whole brain transplant thing and told mostly in flashback. And I grew up watching older horror movies and I will say that one wasn't as scary as some of the others, but it was still fun. Uh God, it must be because I rebooted and didn't save. It's strange, though. You remember, do you enjoy older horror movies like that, Seacross? There's also one called Black Sunday, which was early 60s and a little bit creepier. Actually, a fair bit creepier. And then Black Sabbath, which I still have to see. Okay, yeah, they, that's more appropriate. Isn't it weird that it's rating bending? Because, you know, I got this from a respectable website. Why they, you know, got a rating pending copy like 15 years after it was released, I couldn't begin to guess. Am I still in? It's one of the things I'll never forgive Windows 10 for, the way it jacks up your resolution and then it stays that way if you open a game that's in full screen mode. Should be laws. I say there should be laws whenever something annoys me very slightly. Should be laws against things annoying me very slightly. Yeah. I know when we played the uh, Little Black Lies, which is actually the last Women's Project Club game, I had some stream crashes, but I think I've. Since then, I figured out a good part of what was causing them, and. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't experience any. Say footlight games or floodlight games. See underscore oh, underscore cross. Games is games. The poor laws under the purblind dictatorship. <laughs> the purblind dictatorship, right? Yeah. They're, they're quite reasonable laws. I should know. I made them up myself. Birdline Gamer is LLC is not responsible for becoming a dictatorship. I mean, it might happen, but we're not responsible for it. We'll go ahead and start up. Huh. Investigation one. Seems all right, I managed. For the curious. I thought you'd left. I tried. 
What do you make of this? Where'd you get it? Found it in the lobby. Desk clerk didn't see who left it. Is that Lindsay? If you want to catch a killer, I can tell you where. Are you sharp enough to figure it out? If you're very fast, maybe you will get there before blood is spilled? If not, that's a bad turn for her. Who am I? Is this a prank? Beats me. I was here at 4 a.m. working on the Alamy case. I can hardly see straight, much less think. Go home, Jacoby. It's probably a punk. I'll take care of it. Yeah? Thanks, Boxer. Probably nothing. Who am I? Take an entire video game to figure out. Investigation one. Who am I? Oh, they saved me the trouble of reading it. Hmm. You are playing Lindsay Boxer, homicide detective for the San Francisco Police Department. Along with her partner, Jacoby, she has, she has cracked some of the most difficult and dangerous murder cases the city has ever seen. I wonder if this is the first game. Notebook. Describes what you need to do and items you need to collect. And we have hints. That's good. A oh, set number of hints. That note left in the lobby is probably nothing, but I'd better make sure. I'll need to collect some items first. Oh, they're over here in this game. Indeed, a hat. I have the end and I have to choose between like casual and hardcore mode in this game or something. Clubs. Clubs? What is this? Britain? The policemen carry clubs. Evidently. I suppose we call them nightsticks here in the United States. this in a bigger window and zoomed in less. Check out the mid-2000s television. Pin, highlighters, ashtray, street guide, calculator. Oh. I guess that's actually part of the printer. Whatever that thing is. The fax machine? Hmm. Yeah. 
It's weird how fun hidden objects game games can be. Oh, that's a club. And that's an ashtray. Oh, is that the glue? No, oh, what was that? needs to carry an arrow in the streets. Like, do policemen carry, or police officers carry bows and arrows? That would be kind of cool, actually. There's a series in there somewhere. Underscore underscore cross. Only if they are cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Only if they are cool. That's a good motto. <laughs> huh. I think our old TV, like 20 years ago, used to have a remote that looked like that. Anyway, I think that's the highlighter. Find the screen five times what it normally is can really help you find hidden objects. And we found all of them. Oh. I have the items I need. Now to see if I can make sense of that letter. Watch for items in room that sparkle. Clicking on these items will advance the game. I've marked the general area according to the instructions in the middle, in the riddle. Now I need to identify the exact street. Hmm. Clues in the riddle to identify streets to eliminate. Not a body of water. Neither state nor city. is out, as well he should be. Neither a state nor a city. Any natural 
natural substance or plant. Alright, and then why? But it does not appear anywhere in my name. Well, that removes Grant from the equation and Sutter. Oh wait, Bush is a plant. Jack Kerouac Alley is the only possibility left. I guess I'd better go check it out. I'll probably find a balloon that says sucker on it, but it has to be done. Yay, room complete. Look out for anything by Jack Kerouac. It's so dark, I don't like this. It doesn't feel like a harmless prank. Better fix the light so I can see if there's anybody here or not. I need to fix the light, but first I need to reach it. Hey, yeah, ladder. Yeah, as you learned in Remedy, you can just carry these things around town. Once you get them out of the auto locking basement. That won't reach. The ladder needs to be higher. Let's 
see what can we... There's, a, there's another box there. And this was how the protagonist broke her neck within the first 10 minutes of the game. Surprise! I can reach the light now. said something along the lines of the light is fixed there could be something here I'll have to look around hmm. 13 newspapers and the next paper game will be or mini game will be building things out of paper mache This will be the cleanest this alley has yet to be. Is that newspaper? Could be. Nah. Out there. Skull. Oh, oh, there's just a human skull sitting in this alley. What a lovely part of town. Hydrant, skateboard, briefcase, trash symbol, manhole cover. And there's a briefcase. Daisy, umbrella. Number nine. Is that? Ah, it is a skull. Hmm. Ah, makes sense. The trash symbol would be on the dumpster. kind of looks like a flower. Oh, that was the daisy. Oh, umbrella. Stop, you know, flapping your gums and help me find newspapers and manhole covers.
Which I'm not seeing. Hmm. An alert popped up, and I'm, I don't know what it was, but it's not even like, wait, is, is that bad news? Oh, newspaper. I think I'm having it. It's harder to get my mouse over them precisely. That's, maybe that's partly because I'm playing in windowed mode. And weirdly they disabled the like play in windowed mode that's built into the game. But you know, I'm playing it through DX Wind. Dumpster. Cat was See underscore all underscore along. cross. That manhole cover. <laughs> yeah, that was a difficult one. And there wasn't even a manhole. I feel ripped off. Oh. It's a woman. Oh my god. She's dead. Call it in. Dispatch, I've got a homicide in Jack Kerouac Alley. Send a team right away and ask for Claire Washburn from Hello, the MV friends. department. How is everyone tonight? Hey, Africa Daggers, welcome in. Doing all right, thanks. How's your night going? We're just getting into this. Uh, yeah. Women's Murder Club, and just found the body. A letter from this uh, Dame killer Karen. led us there. Hey, at Perblind Gamer, we can hear your TBS. Hey, Dame Karen, how are you? Dame Karen. Perbly, hello. Wait, you guys can hear the TTS? What even? Sorry about that, guys. Hey. Try. Per blind gamer. Test. Damn, yeah, it's registering on the Wrong output. Hmm. 
I could speculate on why, but I won't, because I don't know. But I might be able to fix it. Anyway, Abracad how's your day, go day going, damn care? I'm doing well. Had a wild pre-Thanksgiving night at work. I'm probably 40% drunk. Oh, wow. 40% drunk after your pre-Thanksgiving night at work. That, that sounds kind of nice. It can be nice to be at a, a good 40% or 80-proof 80 80 drunk, if you will. Purbly hello, purbly love, purbly onward. Well, hey, as long as you drink water afterwards and get plenty of rest. Um, yeah, I was explaining earlier, I had to end up, my day at work, which was supposed to be a half day, ended up being quite long, so I didn't get home until Dame Karen. close to 10 o'clock. I'm fine, thanks. Do you See know that you went offline before worked. you came back and we could hear TDS? No, I went offline? Oh god, that's probably what that alert was about. So I was hearing the dings from the computer, and I'm like, what are you all about? And they're like, oh, we just made you vanish for 20 seconds. Guess your internet's not that good. Sinister things, computers. But hopefully that fixes the TTS problem. And now, yeah, one of the things with the women's murder club games is you get to switch between protagonists at various points. So now we are playing as Claire Washburn, Forensic Examiner. Claire is one of the four members of the Women's Murder Club. She is the best political examiner in San Francisco and has been a friend of Lindsay for years. The two of them have worked together to solve many high-profile murders. I brought my UV light. It will help me find evidence. Those glaring, those glaring spotlights wash out. Abrakad Agars 420. When I walked into work today, there was a 20 pound lobster walking around in a box in the kitchen. A 20 pound then lobster? Then later I ate him. Oh, Still you wrestling ate wrestling with my morality. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the thing with things like lobsters and crawdads. And I feel funny about eating something that I've seen alive. Which I don't know if I've ever done with lobster. It's like. Should I just set him free? Dame Karen. There's something TDS on the stomach area. TW. I should pull the jacket back to get a better view. TDS is not fixed. Hmm. Huh. Wish I could fathom why. According to my audio settings, it's showing. Dame Karen. Nope, we can still hear it. Yeah, it's showing. Microsoft Edge, which is where speech chat is open, running through Aubrey voice Cod meter auxiliary input. Yep, very clear. Where every, as everything else runs through the standard input. Ugh. I wish I could just figure out why. Sometimes does this after I re like restart my computer, but but I have to remind myself the input device is voice meter output, and the out meet output device is voice meter input. I think it makes sense. I just don't know how.
Hey, looks like it's showing up in the auxiliary slot now. Yeah, backwards and forwards. If I weren't using an audio splitter, it would be intuitive, but... Since I am... <laughs> ah, good, thanks. Lovely. Silent TTS that only I can hear. It's a comb. An old one. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you guys helping me with that. In case trolls show up. It's like a... He was stabbed. These slashes were probably made post-mortem, given the small amount of blood. Why did the killer feel the need to inflict even more damage? A cotton handkerchief. You don't see these very often. It's a very impressive UV light. <laughs> Twitchy tech. Exactly. Was it exactly? Yeah, that's right, Abrogate Haggers. I had heard about that. They did like a TV show based on it. it was, like it was first the book series and then the TV show. And then I think that they made it like four video games in the main series based on it. I mean, you know, casual hidden objects games. Surprisingly long running since the TV show didn't last that long. Hmm. Did any of you guys ever read any of the books or see the TV show? the computer game. What's that? The UV light shows a bruise on her cheek. It's possible the killer knocked her out before using the knife. I know James Patterson's a pretty pro prolific writer. Slashes very deep. He nearly took her head off. She must have been lying down when he did it, or there would be blood all over her clothes. Mm. So you like the episode of the show you saw? I read a couple of James Patterson books. I think they're pretty good, you know. Thrillers, kind of. My old roommate back before I went to grad school was into them. Killer knocked her out, slashed her throat, and then cut up her stomach. still here. Oh. Yeah, Stephen King and Dean Coons are both great. And I like, you know, they're so popular that the libraries tend to have large print copies of their work, so that's nice. Makes it easier. Yeah. 
Some really good Dean Koontz ones. when you read Stephen King and Dean Koontz. Yeah. Well, you know, people are ready for horror and adult things at different ages. good. For a long time it was one of, one of those ones that was hard to find. I don't know if it's critically not thought well of or what. <laughs> I don't know, because in it, I mean, the protagonists are 12 and or some, aren't they? And isn't the rule of thumb that the characters in the book should be about the same age as the target audience? Yeah. I mean, that was just my father's excuse to not have me read books about middle schoolers when I was seven. seen the uh, the adapt well the mini series and then the first film adaptation but I've heard about some of the stuff in the book and it's like eh? Eh? hard to judge without reading it but uh, I think it, you know the mini series stands quite well on its own without all that. like Pan's Labyrinth and let the right one in. Uh, yeah, those aren't for kids. Also, I don't think I'd show the bad seed to a six-year-old. I don't think she was the main character. Hmm. That, yeah. Uh, the sexual stuff in it probably would be a bit much for a ten-year-old. Both good movies. It was lucky our library had the got let the right one in when it came out in the states. I think they eventually got the American version too, but I never saw it. Yeah, maybe I should use another hint. I'm just not seeing any further details.
Should be a logical place to look. Hmm. It's a pocket mirror. Broken. Hard to say if it happened during the attack. So good. Jane Doe, a middle aged woman, was found murdered in Jack Kerouac Alley. The cause of death was a slashed throat, a bruise of the chin on the chin, and four slash marks on the abdomen were also found. The only possessions on the victim were a broken mirror, handkerchief, and comb. Oh wow, you've read the book too. I mean, as well, as well as the movie, I haven't read the book. But it seems like, I mean, based on the movie, it would be disturbing. Yeah, Jack, Jack Kerouac Alley. Quite a name. Items found on the body in Jack Kerouac Alley. The only items found on the victim were a comb, handkerchief, and a broken hand mirror. All of them were old-fashioned in design. You finished all puzzles in this location. Oh, it's my first chapter. It's a real street. Wow. Fun. Small streets are named after people. Investigation two. Mm. Don't fear the ripper. Adler Alley. Don't fear the ripper. Oh, they're going with the comic book style now. Hmm. Oh, the original book is dark, not just because of the vampires, and the more the movie makes sense. What? What I don't get is, the body would have been discovered within hours. Why bother with the elaborate riddle? I don't like the who am I bit. Why not? Catch me if you can, or some psycho killer name. What if the killer wants to make you think he's a serial, but he really knows the victim, like a husband or boyfriend? Good story, good theory, but our Vic didn't inspire much passion. She was a nurse at Sinai, unmarried. Yeah, I was just thinking that. like. A little low detail, but the camera angles or art angles are pretty good. You know, she hadn't called in sick in years, and after all that dedication, she ends up with her throat cut in a dark alley. Poor Mary Nichols. What? What is it? Did you say Mary Nichols? Yeah, we just ID'd her this morning. Do you know her? I don't know. I have the strongest sense of deja vu. Cindy. I have to check my sources. I call correctly, she, uh, from Little Black Lies, she's a reporter. Oh, there. Cindy Thomas, journalist. Cindy is a crime reporter for the San Francisco Register. As a precocious young reporter, she fought hard to become accepted into Lindsay Boxer's inner circle, the Women's Murder Club. Her gift for research has been invaluable to the team. <laughs> wow, really? An ACDC lane? <laughs> That's pretty great. I think the chapters are shorter in this game. The register. I was just browsing a cool new crime CD set we got. I 
think I saw the reference to Mary Nichols in here. It looks like someone's been using the set and didn't put it back. People. I'll have to look around to find all the discs. Hmm. Oh, like the women, the women's dialogue is more written by a man, like you can tell from the tone. Hmm. Yeah. And so I was thinking, and even when, oh, there's one. No? Oh, okay, that's not a CD. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, there's not a lot of dialogue in these kind of games. I just think, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to make it pretty good. I wonder if James Patterson actually had a hand in this. And whether it was, you know, written or based on one of the books or an episode. Red CDs. Triangle, bird, tweezers, number nine again. Ooh, Memento Mori. Wait. Oh, there's a number nine. <laughs> that, yeah, that did sound kind of weird. <laughs> As you point that out. She didn't inspire much passion. Is it, is you get, you're getting buffering? That's, yeah. I hope it's not my computer or my internet. Whereas it could be something got messed up because it changed resolution because the game initially opened in full screen. Damn you, Windows 10. Is that? Yeah. Who like, just strewed his uh, CDs around? Ooh, floppy. I have one of those in this room somewhere. for you too, but it's better. Thanks. I hope it hope it stays better. Another reason to make this a shorter stream. So it doesn't flip and crash. Wow, it's still buffering every couple of seconds. God, computers. Ooh, there's a rhinoceros. But he's not on our list. Is it? So many mysteries. Oh, hit barcode. Eleven more red CDs. Yeah. Books on CD yeah. and books on tape did take up a good number. Also, tapes could hold more than CDs. I suppose the red CDs are probably easier to find when you can see red. Oh, scissors. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to set up a separate cam where, like, show you, so you guys, like, 
my screen with how much I'm zoomed in. That might be fun. Especially for games like this. Can't answer the phone. Too busy putting away audiobooks. Using this set of crime CDs should be, I don't know, flogged. That's, that's not how you take care of books. Yeah. Yeah, this is just an image of uh, the, uh, Cindy's office. And. We're trying to find the hidden objects, including CDs. Lots of red CDs. And the letter A, which somebody carelessly left on the desk chair. I tried that one. sealed with sealing wax? CD. I don't remember if there were many, you know, sets of audio CDs or CD-ROMs that were colored differently, other than the, like, PS1 and PS2 games, obviously. Series or their computer. I also hope it's not on my end. It's just one of those random buffering things that comes and goes.
Seriously, seven red CDs here. on the side of a desk routine. Is this in black and white or is this in color? I mean, there's no reason to think it would be in black and white other than that that might make it harder for people and, you know, making a game harder is a good way to extend the game length, as we have all seen sometimes. Why make it fair when you can make it last? egg just sitting in the window on display? I mean, I'm, I'm here for it, but what if you know, being in the sunlight and stuff, it hatches? And then you've got a baby ostrich to deal with at the San Francisco Register. Are they really equipped to raise an ostrich in a newspaper office? Okay, now that sounds like a comedy I might watch. Designer, but whoever within the game put it there. It's an excellent way to scratch the things. Hmm. Oops. It is in color, okay. Thanks. <laughs> sense that it would be. Handbell. 
that's gotta be it. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're down to two CDs. That's almost manageable. Almost, I say. Hey! 160p. That's not good, is it? God, I wonder if there's something with our internet. Because they did have some issue with the internet the night before, like after I got home from work and before I rebooted. I ran Windows Diagnostics and they said they fixed... I can't even remember. It's... Oh, wait. I'm like, that's a very round neck on that monitor. Oh, oh man. Make some of them noise. Oh, in a Nancy Drew game. Each, in one puzzle, each movement sounds like a burp. God, maybe they were inspired by that awful microscope puzzle from the seventh guest. Or maybe they were lampooning it. Yeah, they were. You know, the Hardy Boys game was alright. I wouldn't say it was great, but I will try. Because I've got one of the Nancy Drew games over there. So I'll probably play that at some point. Maybe January. I didn't want to try them out. What is that? No, oh, that's a book. And I got my sister, like a four pack of Nancy Drew games when she was younger and then I, was, I got her another one but she because it was at a thrift store or something but she decided she was too old for that so yeah 10 or 15 years later I'm stuck with it not 15 10 and I better use a hint we'll zoom out first a banana that's a bunch of bananas I've been bamboozled with bananas thanks a lot James Patterson I think you can trust a guy after he publishes a few dozen bestsellers but nope he just chucks a bunch of bananas on the floor and says like there's a banana in this room yeah a banana and its brothers. What in God's name am I on about? Sometimes this happens when I'm tired. I get even more nonsensical than usual. Yes, so one red CD. Must confirm to the red book standard. He drew was mean in the one game. Mm -hmm. Just it was a departure from her uh, personality in most of the games. to use another hint because I don't know how long it'll be till like how long this investigation will last or if we'll get more I can't believe there hasn't been anything in here the ceiling vent
another hint. Right, the ostrich egg? I swear I was circling the ostrich egg. Oh. I found all the CDs. Let's take a closer look. put the CDs back in the case before I can figure out which one I need. The packaging makes a cool image when they're in the, they're all, when they're all in there the right way. Yeah. Kind of like the sexy mermaid wine bottles in Haunting a Cliff House. Oh yeah, yeah, I tried to give my sister good presents. And she was really into the Nancy Drew book, so for a while I was Trying to make sure she had all of those, and then... And she did enjoy the games initially. <laughs> but she never got into computer games in a big way. So there are... 12 CDs. Right. That's a face, I think. That's behind. Oh right, it was one of the CDs was behind the egg. <laughs> Dastardly of them. Good, a CD will lock when it's in the right position. That's, yeah, generous of them. Some games wouldn't do that. CDs out. I start mucking about with them in earnest. Oh, that looks like a hand. Jigsaw puzzle, at least with that you can snap individual pieces together.
fingers. It looks like it could be another part of the hand. are sending it. Oof. Well, you know, maybe I'll just finish the first two investigations of the game and then call it a night. It intended it to be a shorter stream anyway. God. wonder what's up. The CDs are part of a picture in the background. This look, doesn't this look like half of a face? I could find the other half. <laughs> oh, thanks, Daggers. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, uh, that is unfortunate. I'm sorry, guys. release the cursor for it to lock. That looks like part of another face there. lines. Yeah. Not sure what it is yet. So does that. Worth pursuing. Yeah. Now I'm convinced that's it. Be 
be part of a hand. It's so hard to tell what the background is. Just glancing at my task manager, OBS is taking up uncommon amounts of GPU, and I wonder why. Hmm. Well, that would fit in with a frequent keyboard lag problem I have. Let me decrease the smoothing and zoom text real quick. Um, lower level to none. And sometimes put things on with the strains off it. Oh, I see the... What's behind the egg thing? Was it like you gave me a hint well before I had used the hint? I appreciate that. It was unfortunate I didn't get it sooner. The hint's in the mail, I swear, as the saying goes. Such luck. They have the light shining on them constantly. And their reflection pattern stays the same.
Right. Looks like a silhouette of a hand in the background. Rather. Serious resistentialism at work here. Seriously, can't make out whatever's on the background on the right side of the CD case. Volume one. Oh boy, don't tell me there's a volume two. I can hardly wait.
Oh, I'm back. Oh, good. Sometimes trash talk in the program works. Further evidence that computers are self-aware. And capricious. On the bright side, whatever lag chat was having seems to have caught up. sense the picture, I'd probably be making better progress. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're down to two. Thank God for that. Oh. Check the index CD. Hmm. You have the feeling you'd enjoy games a lot more if gameplay didn't interfere sometimes. Now yeah, I get to use a computer while using a computer. How meta is that? Metromedics Crime Library. Enter a keyword to search the crime library. Right, Mary Nichols. Not to be confused with Maggie Nichols, who is a cat I once had to feed. Victim Me Mary Nichols. Entry. Bloody Jack, The Crimes of Jack the Ripper, Volume 1, Deck 3. Here's Disc 3. I'm shaking. Bloody Jack, The Crimes of Jack the Ripper. On a foggy morning, London morning in August, 1888, a man stumbled across a woman lying in the street in Bucks Row. She was rested up against the curb, but she wasn't sleeping. Her throat bore two brutal deep cuts, and four slash marks had been ripped into her abdomen. The bruise on her chin was the only sign that the victim fought against her fate. In her pockets were the bleak possessions of a Whitechapel prostitute, a broken mirror, a handkerchief, and a comb. Her name was Mary Nichols, Polly to her friends, and she bore mute testimony that the bloody reign of Jack the Ripper had begun. And that's rain. That shouldn't it be spelled? Yeah, well. Oh no, the killer is copying Jack the Ripper. I better print this out and fax it to Lindsay right away. This murder of the woman in Jack Kerouac Alley appears to be the, an exact copy of one of Jack the Ripper's murders, right down to the items found on the body and the victim's name. Continue. Room complete. Are we playing as Lindsay again? Ah, yes, there. Facts, sticky notes. Oh, you know, through sticky notes of the office like crazy. Jack the 
Jack the Ripper. This is not good. Someone said they saw another one of the of them envelopes down here in the lobby, but we just had a crack house bust, and I ain't got time to look for it. Thought maybe you'd want to come down yourself, Sergeant Ryan, who writes in the vernacular. Saying, oh yeah, playing these games made me curious again what the series is like. I better go see if there's another letter from the killer in the lobby. And maybe some origami. Ooh, and a teddy bear. Uh, hidden object games. Should, should we be concerned? Your teddy bear. Yeah, origami fish. concerned that there's a fox in the police station hiding under a desk just watching me like hatching ostriches in a newspaper office is one thing but is is anyone going to do anything about the fox no okay just me I'm, leave it all to Lindsay boxer Other plant. 
Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, it was a bow tie, okay. Keep looking long enough, I'm going to see dinosaurs in the water stands on the wallpaper. But seriously, though. That's an ashtray that's smoking. set in the post office. Descend into clicking everything, unless the game penalizes us. Two on the lips, one smile. Is that? No. I swear that pattern on the table looked like a smile. No, I think it's a yin yang. On a closer inspection. We see you, creepy fox. Uh, 
How interesting would it be if the file you were supposed to find was on her face? Well, that's the kind of thing games would have pulled in the 80s. not Jack, but I'm glad you get my little game. The next one has eight letters. Ready? Hey, Abracadagras, welcome back. Well, that's good that we have some mo motionless buffering. Ooh, having trouble sleeping. Oh no, it's another one. I'd better take this upstairs. The letter the killer left has another riddle. I'd better take a look at the map. No, yeah, here's another I can actually maybe have a shot at solving. Oh, the map material is on Lindsay's desk. I've marked the general area according to the instructions in the riddle. Now I need to identify the exact intersection. On the crossroads where two streets meet. Neither street name is a plant. Neither begins with an F, S, or G. And the, the easy ones. As the girls forgot to lock that golden gate. Yeah, F, S, or G. Oak is a plant. Hickory is a plant. Lily is a plant. This killer hates plants. Huh. Wait, Linden. I swear there's a plant called Linden. Lane right by where I grew up in Houston. Larch is a tree. The first letter of one street and the first letter of the second street are close to each other in the alphabet, with just one letter between them. 
Fillmore. Yeah, there's also S S Fillmore Street near where I lived back in Virginia. This game is after me. Clearly. S. Wait. It bothers me we can't click on Lily. probably trying to tell me that I'm going to get my throat cut in my sleep. And yeah, now then the next time in the map there's a street near where I live now, then I'll be worried. There's only one letter between them. Still appears. Ivy. Ivy is a plant. Gotta be McAllister and Octavia. Causing some of the streets to become unhighlighted?
The location is the corner of McAllister and Octavia. I'll grab Jacoby. Room complete. This is McAllister and Octavia, and something's up at that hotel. Room 107, hurry. I'll take the back. Careful, boxer. Kicks the door down. Uh, there's something in the air. <laughs> gas. Window is sealed. I don't have time to get it open. I need to break the glass. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That was a you know, nicely laid out art in the comic scenes. Oh, we can die in this game. Unfortunately, you get to restart instantly. Is clearing out. I can breathe. Two victims this time. They probably died from whatever was in the air. But Claire will be able to confirm. I should examine the scene. Hmm. Apple, half moon, necktie, cane, sailboat. says A Pitzel Pitezel Des Moines, Iowa. They must have been here on vacation. There's nothing in the bag but ordinary clothes. The victims are a man and a woman who appear to be in their seventies. It would be a small mercy if they died in their sleep, but I'll leave the examination of the bodies to Claire. room through this hose. I'll have the, te the team see where it goes. Yeah. 
Oh, is that? Don't know what that is. Food, maybe. window frame was taped up with duct tape. It was pretty cold last night. The couple may not have noticed it if they got in late. Hmm. Looks like a faint star on the window. This older couple from Des Moines, Iowa, took their last vacation to San Francisco. They were found asphyxiated in their hotel room at the board house. That hose leads out to a back alley. Whatever it was attached to is gone, and there are no fingerprints. Maybe Claire can give us more to work on. She's on her way. Lindsay needs all the help. She can needs all she can get on this one. I'll see what the bodies can tell me using the UV light.
Are there multiple areas we could examine in the room? Sophisticated work compared to what she did in Little Black Lies. Yeah. The light itself. A minor detail. body we could see you know some of what it was revealing but yeah. wait there's something there a bottle of acid this has got to be another bread breadcrumb from the killer left the acid in the bed. Interesting. So he didn't just pump the gas in from the alley through the air vent.
I'd prefer it if they gave us more hints or just but just made it rechargeable. Like you have to wait for a cooldown. Expedition, Chicago, World's Fair. Admit one. <laughs> you know, Amber Cadavers, I think you may be onto something. Considering the fact that we've been shining this UV light all over them for so long and they haven't moved suggests they are, in fact, dead. World's Columbian Exposition, Exposition Chicago, 1893. I don't know what else she said. Apparently waiting for the player to dismiss the text is just a formality. attended the World's Fair in the 1890s. Here it is, 2007, and they're dead. After living so long, what finally killed them? What was in that gas? And who wanted to kill them? interesting idea and if they prolonged their lives after going to the World's Fair why couldn't Jack the Ripper prolong his life too why did he resurface now and why is he killing people one named after some a victim from his past these two have perhaps knew him before they extended his life or they all extended their lives I've seen some weird things in my time, but this is sick. 
looks like human hair that's been wrapped into a ball. It definitely does not belong to the victims. Right, talk about unnaturally prolonging life. Where does Star fit into this? It'd be funny if all the games I played were connected in some weird universe. One more clue. I'd say it's time for a hint. I clicked on his face ten times. There's blood in the foam around the mouth. That's a sign of convulsions. Combined with the color of the skin, I'd say that the cause of death was carbon monoxide or some other poisonous gas. Blood work will pin it down for sure. Right. Every game is Starfian. <laughs> a ticket to the Columbian Exposition, bottle of acid, and ball of hair were found on the scene in, of the Pit Pitazel double murders. They were likely planted by the killer. I didn't see any other marks or bruises on the body. At this point, it's up to lab work to tell the tale. I'll have them transfer the bodies. Twice in a blue moon. Why not seven times in a blue moon? Finished all the puzzles. Okay, now we get to the real science. On tests on mysterious substance. Wait, where is it? Oh, there. Computer. Hmm. Arrange the bottles according to the directions on the labels. Click any two bottles to swap their positions. Oh! Oh, so the new Ghostbusters movie was actually pretty good. That's... Okay, like, kind of middle of the road, but... Well, it's good to hear it wasn't a disaster. And is it in some ways Lovecraftian? Hmm. I hadn't heard much about it. <laughs> but then I never... Heck, I've... No, I saw part. I saw most of Ghostbusters 2 when I was really young, and that's as far as I got. <laughs> oh, there's the TV show. Oh boy, logic puzzles. Do not use before Q. to be first. you say it. I probably should watch the first one again. And then some of the others. <laughs> there. My bottles are in order. I'll send them to the lab and wait for the results. Mm. Me. Lab results in. Oh, that was fast. Blood toxicology report. 
Blood contains a lethal level of HCN, HCN, hydrogen cyanide, airborne gas. Concentrations of 300 milligrams per cubic meter will kill humans within a few minutes. The cyanide ion bond, the cyanide ion bonds with the cells and prevents cellular respiration. Victim experiences loss of consciousness, convulsions, and death. HCN was used for chemical warfare as early as World War II. Under the name Zyklon B, it was used for mass genocide by the Nazis. As a controlled substance under Schedule Three of the Chemical Weapons Convention, its production is strictly monitored, and any forms available on the street are illegal. The Pytazels were killed by HCN, hydrogen cyanide, an airborne gas. This gas was used during the Second World War and is now a controlled substance under the Chemical Weapons Convention. <sighs> Finally, cutscene and then we end. Investigation Investigation three. three. Dead end. Hmm. Lindsay filled me in on the latest murder. I need to find out who the killer was, imitating this time. I made note of keywords I thought might be helpful. Oh, great, and then we can rearrange some CDs. even exit. Yes, I am sure. I am sure I want to exit and I'm sure I want to save. Just in case we come back to this game. Though that's... Uh, Women's Murder Club. Twice in a blue moon. Then it's okay. I think some of it's just me being dumb and my stream buffering and me being tired. Sorry for the, having so much work and then starting a stream so late. And not playing something more exciting. I don't know, I don't think I like this one as much as Little Black Lies, because it doesn't... I mean, it doesn't have many characters so far. I wonder if this was the first one. No, it's not a bad game. I mean, it does have... I mean, you know, some good art style, and it's... I mean, I'm interested in where the story is going. I'm just, you know, there aren't a whole bunch of suspects and characters that you can get behind like there were in the other game. But yeah, I'll probably continue it next Wednesday. I'll, maybe I'll put a poll on Twitter, see what people think. And then if everybody says no, I'll be like, well, my hands are tied. Yeah. Have you played Little Black Lies 2, Erica Daggers? I played that fairly early on this, this year, like, not too long after I started officially streaming, like... Somewhere between February and April, let's call that. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. But other than, I mean, other than that, I haven't played any of these games. Even though I probably should feel compelled to own them on CD-ROM. No, wait, that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. Then, then we'll find somebody to raid. But, uh, coming up, I've got... I'll be streaming again probably keep my same schedule this week, even though it is Thanksgiving holidays. And yeah, we'll, on Saturday, we'll continue, uh, play the second episode of Splatterhouse 3D for Doom. And on Sunday, we'll continue Half-Life. And hopefully I'll keep making good progress. I'll try and start earlier. Yeah. Yeah, Half-Life is a good game, it's just sometimes not great. 
It's, it does seem harder than a fair number of FPSs. Still worth it. Oh, you played some of it at a friend's house. Yeah, I think. I mean, Little Black Lives was the last one, so they had time to figure out what works and what didn't. What was the best? Let's see, who's online tonight? Assuming someone's online tonight, what if nobody was? What if you went to Twitch and it was just a blank page? Then how am I streaming? I watch entirely too many horror movies. Or just have too much imagination. For example, in How One Spells Twitch, I use imagination. rated Mr. SDJ before like, fairly recently but he's a friendly guy we'll go ahead and raid him he's playing Star Trek Judgment Rights which is another I guess this is more of a hidden object than a point and click game we've been playing but yes Judgment Rights is uh, one of the point and click adventure games based on the original Star Trek series and it looks quite good from what I've seen of it good voice acting and everything Yeah. yeah, that's what's coming up in the future, and I appreciate everybody who is here, whether you're chatting or lurking, and especially since I had some trouble with stream, which, uh, buffering or being slow, which... Seems to all be working fine now. Why? Who knows? Nobody knows. Probably the computer itself doesn't know. Or even worse, it does. And hopefully we don't have that trouble next time. Oh yeah, for everybody in America, I hope you enjoy Thanksgiving. And for everybody not in America, uh... Well, I hope you stuff your face tomorrow anyway, because why not? Turkey's healthy. In small quantities. Per Blind Gamer LLC cannot condone eating an entire turkey in one sitting. I mean, if you're just one person. Like, if you want to get together like ten people and demolish the turkey in one setting, Per Blind Gamer LLC has no opinion on that. Uh, unless... Our lawyer tells us we have an opinion. <laughs> yeah, the computer always knows. And just pretends that it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, from now till January, all the upcoming holidays. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you can follow me on Twitch and also on Twitter and MySpace. I post more regularly on Twitter with stream announcements and polls and random crap. Uh, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you guys soon. Try not to think about Poison Gas and Jack the Ripper, because that might keep you up and put you off your Thanksgiving meal. <laughs>